Welcome to the NatFL channel. Entering the 2021 offseason, Dolphins fans knew that this cycle would help give us our most clear perspective on who the Miami Dolphins are as an organization under this current regime. Miami, who started off their rebuilding process with a bold, ambitious teardown of the roster that equaled the likes we haven't seen very often, flipped the script in 2020 and signed anyone and everyone they seemingly set their eyes on and promptly kickstarted a five-win turnaround to log double-digit wins in year two of the current regime. The biggest question of all was whether or not that success would lead to a renewed enthusiasm to spend aggressively in free agency for the second consecutive year, and do so in the immediate aftermath of Chris Greer preaching building a sustainable winner in South Florida. Granted, there are many ways to achieve sustainability, but for a young Dolphins team that has plenty of young talent and growing up to do, locking themselves into a fixated salary cap situation would have been equally as bold as the teardown the Dolphins undertook to build up flexibility with the roster in the first place. And had the Dolphins come out and gobbled up many of the names that were rumored to be tied to the team, that's exactly where the Dolphins would be. Instead, defensive end Carl Lawson signed a monster deal with the New York Jets, Matt Judon inked a similarly sized deal with the New England Patriots and offensive linemen such as former Packers center Corey Lindsley are also off the board. There was some frustration among Dolphins fans that the team was not more active in, providing help to young quarterback Tua Tungavailoa on day one of the legal tampering period, but the big picture view shows Miami is committed to learning from the sins of their past. Miami has been so influenced with winning in a timely manner under past regimes that all they've been able to do is spin their tires as they've tried to climb into position to content. And with the team actually on the cusp of developing into the kind of contender this franchise could have only dreamed about in the first decade of direction under team owner Stephen Ross, the 2021 offseason served as the ultimate test. Could the Dolphins resist temptation? It appears as though they have. A report from Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald indicated that Miami is still looking to make a splash at wide receiver but that the team is otherwise interested in Tier 2 and Tier 3 free agents. This approach is a new one for Dolphins fans to process, as was evidenced by the negativity on social media about Miami's quiet start to the process. But if the definition of insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting different results, Miami's calculated approach to their salary cap space and willingness to shop for bargains and allow some hits to materialize as a result is a far departure from the last decade of Dolphins football. A little boring, perhaps, but as Dolphins fans know all too well, a sexy week in March is often not what winners in January are made of.